Okay, class, so for week four presentation, you're going to um, actually give, you're going to present your PowerPoint. You're going to speak to it, record that, and share the link to the video of you presenting your PowerPoint. Here's a tool that I want to share with you, really easy to use, that allows you to do that using a laptop. Um, and I'm assuming it works for Mac. I'm using it on Windows PC, OK? If you have any problems, email me. Let me know what if it's not working. Or if you have another way of doing this, perfect. Do it however is easiest for you, OK? All right, so the name of the tool is called Panopto, P-A-N-O-P-T-O. And I will send out that link. And you can basically just start recording but you have to have an account in order to um, upload your video to the Panopto cloud or the Panopto space, okay? So if I were to um, create an account and sign in, and I'm going to sign in right now. So go ahead and create an account. And oh, let's see, where's my UAGC? Try that, I think. Oh no, okay, sorry. You can sign in with your, um, you can actually sign in with your Gmail account, okay? So um, when you first get started, you can click on sign in with Gmail and it signs you right in. So if you have a Gmail account, then that's the easiest way to get a, an account here in Pan Opto, okay? Here it is, okay. So I, I sign in with Google and ask me if this is the right Google account. Yes, it is. And here I am, okay? And here I am, all right? All right, so there's things, there's tutorials on getting started and so forth, and down below it's got some videos that I've already tested and created, and I can go to my folder. If I do that, then it takes me right to the videos that I've been working on, okay? But you're gonna start here at the home button, home screen, and all you do to get started is you click record. So you better be ready when you click record. Hopefully you have practiced your PowerPoint, and you're ready to speak to each slide. Perhaps you have some notes that you're gonna be reading from, or perhaps you wanna use your phone and look at the notes as you speak. Doesn't matter if you look away, you know, or if you're perfect, or even if you don't use the video feature, uh, I wanna hear your voice and I wanna hear you speaking to the, to the PowerPoint, okay? So in, before you click that record button in Panopto, you want to be sure that your, your PowerPoint's ready to go, okay? And here's what I recommend, that you have the two windows kind of um, toggled so you can toggle back and forth between Panopto and your PowerPoint, all right? And I don't recommend that you click the slideshow for PowerPoint because it takes up the whole screen and then you can't get, get back to Panopto and, um, and you know, stop recording or whatever. So it's okay if you've got your little tiles over here to the left, your slides, and you just click on each slide and it shows us your, your large slide right there, okay? Try to make these as little as you can. Make this as large as you can so we can read it, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click record. Okay, so in the record, it asks me what speaker do I want to use. Notice that the the sound waves are showing that it's it hears me. Okay, if I click the audio, it shows me several speaker options. My computer and all my all my technology. I've got several computer speaker options. Right now, it's using the one that I want it to use, which is great. If I want to do a video, I can. Um, Right now, the video is being taken up by Zoom, so it's not showing my camera, okay? But it will show the couple of options here for videos, and you just put a check mark on the one you want. If I click Remove or click Add, and it's got a little check mark for the video, and your video should be showing up. You don't have to do video, okay, if you don't want to, but the audio has to work, and your screen has to work. So now, it, the screen comes up with a lot of options. It comes up with my entire screen, my application window, and then my Chrome, um, my web browser, okay? If you click on application window, your PowerPoint that you have up should be showing up. 
and you want to click on that PowerPoint and it will only record the window of your PowerPoint, okay? That's what I suggest that you do, okay? So now I'm just going to click the PowerPoint here, application window PowerPoint, click share. All right, here it is. Now it hasn't started recording yet. See how I'm I have to toggle back and forth in order to turn on the recorder. That's why you want to have the two windows kind of side by side so you can toggle back and forth, okay? So I'm toggling back to Panopto and that big red button's there ready for me to start recording. I'm gonna click that big red button, five, four, counts me down, three, two, one. And now it's recording and the, and the little uh, recording tool goes from a round red button to a square button telling me when it's square, it's recording, okay? All right, so now I'm, and, and notice also that you, we've got the um, countdown. So it's telling me how much time um, this recording is, all right? And I don't, I don't think there's a limit, I looked. Um, so I think you can record as much as you want to, but the limit in, in the assignment is five, about five minutes, okay? All right, so then now you can toggle over to your, your PowerPoint and begin your presentation. And so welcome to my presentation on blah, blah, blah. In this presentation, I will be speaking about blah, 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 and blah, 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 right? This issue is of concern because, and now you're going to the detail, you're telling the story. As you go through all your slides and then summarize your presentation, you know, try to be as professional as you can, and then hover on the references slide for about three, four seconds. So we can take a look at those references and then maybe have access to those if we want to, you know, we can go look them up ourselves if we want to learn more about your presentation. Okay, when you're finished, you're going to toggle back over to the Panopto window and stop recording. All right, and so it says just leave this page open while it's processes to recording, depending on how fast your internet is, it'll take longer or shorter. And I'm just going to put you on pause while it processes and I'll be right back. Okay, so all finished and says your video is ready. Now I can either redo it. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is between record and renew and redo. It looks like I can edit it. I'm not going to play with it myself. I'm just going to go in and say um, there's different ways you can get to it. If you want to go back to your Panopto account, here I am back on that home screen, but if I click on my folder, there it is, the third video before there were two. Now this is the third one, okay? This is the one I just recorded, right? And so I can access it this way, or I can access it by going back to my general home screen if I want to. If I do it this way, I can say share this video right here by clicking manage access. Okay, and it, look at that, it brings me kind of back to that same screen, okay? So I can say create a public link, and this is what I'm going to ask you to do is create a public link so that anybody with the link can access it. You can always revoke that link. But now as I copy that entire big long link and I go, let's just go to a different web browser so that I can show you that it does work. And here, I'm just gonna paste that link into the web browser. And here we go. Okay, and here's the video. And now if I click down here into the play button, and now it's recording and the, and the little, uh, there you go. So that link is the link that you're going to put in your discussion board for week four for your presentation. So we can all go take a look at it, okay? You don't have to put up your PowerPoint file. If you want to, you can. It might be too big for the discussion board, okay? But if you want to upload that too, you're welcome to. All right, so if then, if I go back to Panopto, there's that option and I can click on Manage Access. Or if I just go back to my general Panopto account, I can go to that video, I can say Share. And once again, I get that same screen and I say, uh, let's see if I say revoke, it goes away. If I say create a public link, 
there's that link. That's the link you want to post in your discussion board for week four. Super easy. I just really love this tool. I was trying to use another tool and it was the technology was not working. It took me all day. And then I said, I gave up and I found this one. So Panopto, I like it a lot. If it doesn't work for you, let me know and we'll figure something else out. Okay. All right. Thanks guys. Good luck.